Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This past January, Atlanta Public Schools invited reporters to see its latest safety feature in action, touchless body scanners. I love in the red hoodie. You're going to have to get over there. The district had just invested $2.6 million to install evolved weapons detection systems in all its middle and high schools. The future of venue security is seamless integration. And they wanted to show them off. And they don't have to spend as much time looking through each and every bag. And then the, the students love it too because we move through a lot quicker. Using artificial intelligence, Evolve screens students walking through its towers without making them unpack their book bags or remove their shoes. And students are searched only if a sensor is triggered and the light turns red. They know that they're safe, safe from all kinds of threats, uh, guns and bombs and knives and bad people. That's Evolve CEO, making the rounds to multiple networks in 2021 and 2022 to describe the new product. But the magic is in our threat detection software that allows us to find any kind of concealed weapon. The problem, Evolve does not detect, quote, any kind of concealed weapon. A 2021 field test in Ohio revealed safety flaws, including a micro-compact pistol not being flagged on two walkthroughs and multiple knives of different types and kinds going undetected in 10 of 24 walkthroughs. One year after that field test, a knife got through an evolved weapons detection system in Utica, New York, and a student was stabbed multiple times. Following the incident, the interim superintendent pushed the Utica Board of Education to remove the system altogether. It's not a reliable system for detecting knives and is not adequate or practical for school use. Atlanta News First Investigate shared these findings with APS parents and students. What would you think a weapon detection system would detect? Guns, knives, anything that can harm students. Who are surprised not and disappointed. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That's not a weapon detection system in my opinion. It should detect everything and if it does not, then it clearly is not a weapon detection system. The first of its kind free flow weapons detection system. Evolve does not dispute the results of the 2021 field test, but its education director says the system has undergone extensive upgrades since that time. So does that mean that Evolve can now detect knives more consistently? Um, I don't know if I'm comfortable answering that without a technology background. Like I said, I'm really more the education person. Um, I do know that we're constantly working to be better at detecting all types of weapons. But is it safe to say that Evolve cannot detect any and all weapons? I think it's safe to say that nothing is foolproof and nothing is perfect. So, did Evolve make APS aware of the field test before the APS Board of Education approved the product? An APS spokesperson said no. And did Evolve disclose that its weapons detection system does not detect all knives? To that, APS also said no. Why wasn't that shared with APS? Again, I wasn't involved personally in that deal. I'm not comfortable speaking to it. What I can say is that we try to be absolutely transparent with our customers. Despite Evolve's limitations, an APS spokesperson insists that it's been, quote, pleased with the addition of the Evolve weapons detection systems adding that it served as an aid and a deterrent in our safety protocols. We did find it alarming. Connor Healy works for a security and surveillance research group called IPVM, and he says Evolve's problems go beyond the field test. He points to the company recently changing its marketing language from weapons-free zones to safer zones. I think that change in marketing tells you that there have been some misconceptions widely about what exactly this technology does, and the company was not forthcoming about them. All in favor? 6-0. The consent agenda is approved. In March, the DeKalb County Board of Education approved a four-year, $8 million contract with Evolve to put the weapons detection system in all its middle and high schools. A DCSD spokesperson told Atlanta News First that the district is aware of the system's limitations, but chose Evolve, quote, because of its weapons detection abilities, overall cost effectiveness, and ease of use by school personnel with minimal training. Good job. You're good to go. At the end of the day, district leaders are investing this money to make schools safer. But will these high-tech efforts actually protect your children? Does Evolve make you feel safer? Not really. We'll have to wait and see. I, I don't exactly feel safer with it.